Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add sales tax in your QuickBooks account. Okay, so the first thing I want you to show you here is on home page you have chart of accounts. When you open that you have list of the accounts added in. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to get into the preferences. Then the next thing we are going to add is sales tax option now here you have my preferences and company preferences now here you have to select do you charge sales tax set it to yes and here you can add sales tax item for example some countries have a gross sales tax gst some have vat some have different types of taxes uh, based on the product or services they are selling so you can add based on that so click on this add sales tax item then choose service or you can say inventory for goods or non-inventory fixed asset and others so for now group discount and payment you can exclude also sales tax group you can exclude for later video so currently you can add sales tax item okay so simply select that select name for it i'm going to add gst so i'm gonna select sales tax gst and i have this value set to 18 percent okay so if you wish to add the agency name for which you are collecting that you can add let's say state tax collection okay now select ok if you don't know any other details so it will keep that as option now click on ok and your spell check options will come up you can ignore that and your sales tax item is added you have one sales tax item with 18 percent charges added in it now you can click on ok and it will tell you make all existing customers taxable or make all existing non-inventory inventory parts taxable okay you can select or deselect based on how you want it click on ok and then it will ask you to close the windows and now you can click on your shortcuts home to go back okay here you have now option manage sales taxes and here you can see the sales tax references and add remove and edit from here also you have sales tax liability and summary listed here depending on your current and existing transaction that are coming in your sales tax will reflect in that revenue summary okay currently it's blank because I have just added it so as you can see it has nothing okay you can see no liability as well so as you keep on adding services and product sales this revenue service and summary will have that tax reflected in transaction okay now this was a short video on how to add sales tax item in quickbooks